What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got another Grand Theft Auto 5 video for you. So it's been a while since my last upload, but this was one of the more requested mod videos that I just never got around to. And that mod request was how to install this mod over here for your Grand Theft Auto 5 single player. It's getting the multiplayer Benny's Original Motorworks into your single player game so you can customize cars to your heart's content. So that's exactly what we'll be going through in this video today. I'll be using the Epic Games version, though installation on the Steam version should be mostly the same. First of all, head across to where your game is actually installed. Over here is where I have my game, usually it'll be in C, Program Files, Epic Games, or C Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, then Grand Theft Auto 5. As long as you can see GTA 5.exe or just GTA that looks something like this, then you're probably in the right folder. So there's a couple of things that we need to get in order for this to actually work. Looking at this mod page over here linked in the description down below, I'll go ahead and click download and then I'll click download once again. Opening up the zip, we have a change log, two links and an install folder. Inside the install folder, we have a script folder and a bunch of scripts that we'll put into our game folder in just a moment. So there's a couple of things that we need first. Number one, we need to make sure scripthook5 is installed and scripthook5.net. If for some reason you're having issues getting this to work, check this link over here, which will also be in the description down below that talks about fixing issues with this mod. I'll open up this page in a new tab. Scrolling down, we need these for the mod to actually work. scripthook5, community scripthook5.net, redistributable 2013-64, and .NET Framework 4.5.2. All of these will be linked in the description down below as well. Heading across to Scripthook 5's website, simply click the download button and open up the zip once it's downloaded. Head into the bin folder, select everything here except for native trainer.asi if you plan on using a different trainer like menu, then drag and drop them out into your GTA 5 directory as such. Then we can close out of Scripthook 5 and we'll head across to scripthook5.net, which is also linked down below. Click the download button and then find the latest release, which for me is this one over here, 3.0.3. Click the zip, download it and open it once it's done. Then we'll simply select everything except for readme and license and we'll drag those out into our GTA 5 directory as such. Of course, you can read through license and readme yourself. Then I'll close the zip and we can head across to the Visual C++ redistributable page. Once you're here, simply click download Select vcredist x64.exe, next, then once it's downloaded, open it up and go ahead and install it if it's not already installed. Mine's already installed, I have the option to repair or uninstall, I'll simply hit close and yes. Then we also need .NET Framework 4.5.2, simply click download, wait for it to download, open it up, this time hit yes when prompted for admin and we'll probably see something like this. If we see this, then we already have it installed and things work fine. Closing out of it, now we're basically done with setup. Heading back to the actual mods zip, we'll simply open up both that folder and our GTA 5 folder and drag the scripts folder into our GTA 5 one over here. Opening it up, we have Benny's original motorworks.dll and inm native ui.dll as well as metadata.dll. Once all of those files are here as such, all we need to do is simply launch up our GTA 5 and things should work properly. So that's exactly what I'll do now. We'll head straight into story mode. And there we go, once we're in game, we can simply head out, open up the map, and we should see this icon over here, Benny's Original Motorworks, right in the center of town. Clicking on it, we'll head straight there. And there we go, once we've arrived, we can simply drive in and use it as we would in multiplayer. Super simple to get working and it just works as you'd expect. So anyways, that's about it. My name has been Technobi here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this video useful and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.